GoDaddy's mission is to help um, you know everyday entrepreneurs basically come online, thrive, and grow. Uh, we started a journey globally about 20 years ago, and today you know we have over 19 million customers worldwide. You know over 77 million domains worldwide, and uh, you know if you think of today. Anybody who wants to start their online journey, right? The first thing they do is they buy a domain because that's really uh, what, what you call is your own identity. You know, what do you want to call yourself, right? Uh, and we are the leading uh, provider of domains worldwide. And then once you have your domain, uh, then you want to bring it to life, right? How do, you, how do, you, how do people find you uh, and know that you exist? That's when the website comes in where we help, uh, you know, bring you alive, basically. Domain is you name yourself. Now website is you come alive and you know what, what people find you and discover you. And then how you grow your business, which is where we provide all the tools like uh, you know, email and uh, other uh, integrations to what's needed to grow your business. So I think GoDaddy, uh, you know, well, first of all, it starts with customer experience, right? Exceptional customer experience is what we focus on because uh, in today's world, what happens is there are so many tools and products and services available. Uh, but what GoDaddy provides today is a 24 by 7 customer service worldwide. Uh, so today, whether you're a one person entrepreneur or you're a 10 team entrepreneur, uh, you always want to, uh, you know, get some advice on uh, what products to select and, you know, how to educate your team to use them. Uh, and we really thrive on, you know, customer experience. Uh, the second thing also is, uh, what we call driving awareness and education uh, of uh, you know why it's important to be online today. Uh, most of uh, entrepreneurs and many of small businesses actually, you know, are still learning that hey, is social media online or is something else online? And we constantly educate uh, our customers that you know it's a mix of both, right? Because um, online is your own platform; it's your own content. You own it. So hence, think of it as your main primary. Uh, you know, kind of brand presence when you go online. Social media is just tools you use to, you know, help promote that brand and, you know, get people uh, to know about that brand. Uh, so I think uh, customer experience and really uh, driving awareness and education on what online means has really been two big factors for us. From an India perspective, right, uh, just to give you a context, we started our journey in 2012 and today we have a, over a million, uh, you know, customers in India, uh, which basically uh, equates to, you know, we are the leading market share player today. We have over 40% of, uh, you know, market share. Um, when we think of customer, we actually don't think of very verticalization way. We think about different journey lines of customers because, you know, you think of different customers, right? Somebody is just starting today. Uh, you know, their needs, whether they are in a, a services business or a manufacturing business or any other sort of business, uh, their decision points are the same, right? What tools should I buy? How do I come online? And how do I transact online, right? Versus if you're a customer perhaps in, in you know, in the middle of your journey, uh, but you hadn't come online. You know, you were an old brick and mortar business, but you didn't know what to do online. Uh, and you're trying to come online, you know, they have to bridge to what they've done in the past and take it forward, right? So we look at customer life cycle more importantly than verticals. But in terms of verticals, generally, I think, uh, you know, most of, I guess, in India, small business services businesses are really, uh, you know, the, the, what you call the new age businesses which are coming online, right, which are all the way from, uh, you know, like, you know, creative people to, to, to service providing people, uh, and also to some extent small manufacturers. Uh, our India strategy has three pillars, right? First of all, we want to be the trusted partners for our customers, which essentially means that, uh, you know, we help, want to help them uh, really first be aware of what we do. Uh, today, we run our marketing campaigns in over seven different languages. Uh, and the reason that is because, as you know, India is a very diversified country. Uh, somebody in South, uh, you know, wants to understand uh, and absorb the knowledge very differently in somebody in North. Uh, so through running good, uh, you know, I would say hyper-local regional content campaigns, we are able to help people understand the benefits, you know, of the products we provide. 
Um, secondly, we use influencers. And when we call, when I say influencers, we have people like web developers and resellers. So these are the people who actually serve the customers, right? And if you go to a small tier two, tier three town, most of the time the small business person will go to some local IT provider, you know, who they trust and who helps them make the decisions. So we have a channel of what we call the web designers, what we call pro channel, and then resellers. And through them, again, we are driving both the awareness of the benefits and then also, you know, the, 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 the usability of our products. Um, the second pillar of our strategy is really, uh, you know, flexible product and pricing. Uh, so as I mentioned earlier, you know, different customers start their journey at different phases of their, of their, of the business life. And uh, we want to make sure that our product and services uh, are provided uh, in a way where it maps to their uh, economic situation, right? So we have a product as low as 54 rupees a month, which is a product we just launched recently, which is called an online startup bundle, which basically means you can actually buy a domain, get a one page website and an email uh, in a bundle in one go, right? So that's like example of just getting somebody online and making the process very easy to an advanced product where we have advanced hosting products like VPS and dedicated servers, uh, you know, for, for customers who are far advanced in their life cycle. Uh, and the third pillar of our really strategy is the customer experience, which I spoke about, right? You know, today we have, uh, you know, over, uh, over a thousand kind of uh, customer care representatives. Uh, we almost talk to uh, three customers every minute. Uh, we provide care in over four different languages and through chat, through voice, you know, and, and, and through bot and through different mediums, right? So um, from driving awareness, uh, through being the trusted partner, to providing flexible product and pricing, and to, you know, being focused on exceptional uh, customer experience are the three pillars of our uh, India strategy. So India business started uh, back in 2012. We had 40 people on the ground. Uh, our brand awareness was less than 40%. Uh, if you dial forward today, uh, you know, our brand awareness is over 85%. Uh, we have over a million customers. Um, so India, you know, in the last three years, we've actually doubled the business in India. Uh, you know, we are also profitable in India. So our India story has been very phenomenal. You know, it's, it's, it's been one of the leading international markets for GoDaddy. Uh, and, uh, you know, it continues to be, you know, one of the biggest focus uh, geographical uh, area for GoDaddy. So as we look at, if you look at what's happening uh, in the ecosystem, right, in the last uh, three, four years, there's a lot of initiatives which have come in to uh, help kind of drive the digital adoption, you know, the whole startup journey, uh, digital India journey. Um, so while we have done a great job in getting the major cities come online, we now focus on the tier two, tier three parts of the country where uh, the next set of 200 million internet users in India are actually going to come from uh, non-English speaking parts of India. So as we are looking at, you know, getting all these businesses, all these consumers come online, grow online, you know, we are focused on driving both good marketing campaigns to help them understand the benefits of coming online. Uh, one example being, you know, we, we, we signed on uh, MS Dhoni uh, last year as a brand ambassador. And then we had also sponsored, you know, the Cricket World Cup. And both these things were meant to actually help people understand, you know, why is it important to get a domain name? Why is it important to have a website? Why is it important to have your own, you know, web presence and so on? And we're seeing, a, you know, a lot of good results in at least the awareness being driven of, of, of the benefits. Uh, so tier two, tier three is a big part of our focus. And then also we do a lot of on the ground events uh, through our web, uh, web pro channel and through resellers where we are, you know, conducting events, uh, educating uh, uh, people who are just coming online now to say what kind of products to, should they buy uh, and, and how long should they keep them and how should they map out their, their journey line. Um, again, I'd mentioned earlier our online startup bundle, right? That's exactly one step in the direction of the tier two, tier three markets. A lot of people get a domain, but they don't, they don't know what to do with the domain. Through this online startup bundle, again, in 54 rupees a month, you get a domain, you get a website, you get an email, and you're, you know, you're ready to start your business, right? Uh, so tier two, tier three uh, markets are a big focus for us. And then secondly, I think uh, educating, uh, and you'll, re you know, you'll see, uh, an initiative being launched by us in the next uh, few weeks on uh, helping uh, educate 
uh, you know, the professionals, especially the web designers, uh, and also small businesses become more digitally savvy uh, because, you know, digital skilling is a big part of, uh, you know, what's lacking. And we are uh, attempting to solve that problem through this initiative, which is going to be launching in the next uh, few weeks. We do both. Um, you know, so we uh, are front of site. Um, in fact, our website uh, is one of the top 100 websites, you know, being visited, uh, you know, in, in the country. 50% uh, of our uh, customers actually come from tier 2, tier 3, and many of them are coming, you know, directly on our website. Um, so uh, if you go on our website today, you can buy any product uh, without actually talking to any human being. On the other hand, if you want to talk to a human being, uh, we have our customer care channel, right, which is, you know, over, over a thousand uh, folks uh, which are available. Uh, and if you call in, you can, you know, actually talk to them and understand and act make the purchase. Uh, plus, we have the web pro channel, uh, which, uh, which is really the influencer channel we call uh, and the reseller channel through which you can buy products, uh, which is the channel, right? So there's front of site, there's the web pro reseller, and then really the customer care through which you can uh, purchase.